Hello everyone, so in today's video I wanted to do a non-spoiler book review on Forbidden by Tabitha Suzuma. This is a dark contemporary novel about two siblings, 17 year old Lockin and 16 year old Maya. And ever since their dad left five years ago, their mother has been turned into an alcoholic and she goes out partying every day with different boyfriends and she's basically never around. So these two siblings have taken up the role as a parental figure to their three younger siblings. The stress of their lives have made them close, closer than most siblings and they start to develop a romantic relationship. Even though they both know that they shouldn't continue on with this relationship, they still do it because they think it's just right. I give this book four and a half, oof, I just tugged on my hair. I gave this book four and a half stars out of five. I loved it. It was such a great book, but the reason it kind of got knocked down half a star was because towards the middle there were a couple of sections that I thought were a little bit boring and it was getting a little bit repetitive um, and I just really could not wait until the end. And also this book is told from dual perspectives and honestly you can't really distinguish between the two. The only way that I can indicate who was speaking was because of the beginning of the chapters. It tells you the name of who is um, narrating it. So this book deals about a very sensitive topic, a topic that is rarely touched upon in media and that is incestual relationships, so siblings having romantic relationships. I love the fact that Tabitha Suzuma chose to write about it, such a uh, sensitive topic that's really just kind of brushed under the carpet. It's not really talked about and she did it in such a magnificent way. I went into this book having a very different opinion on incest than how I came out of the book. So when I started reading it, I'm not gonna lie, the first couple of chapters were pretty hard to read just because I kind of had like that idea that incestual relationships is wrong. And don't get me wrong, I still don't think you know, I still don't condone it. I still don't think people should have ancestral relationships, but when I began this book, I was like, ew, like, uh, I was kind of uncomfortable. I'm not going to lie, but by the end of the book, I could totally see how this sort of relationship could develop. And I don't think it's wrong um, if two people decide to have this sort of relationship. Of course, if it's consensual, if the two people in the relationship are happy, I say let them be. Obviously, from a biological viewpoint, it is wrong because, you know, having a baby with your sibling, you know, it's not good. The baby will not develop correctly. I do think it's wrong that these type of consensual relationships, if they are discovered, the people go to jail for years while we have convicted rapists that go to jail for only six months and that was not a consensual relationship not everyone in the situation involved was happy and obviously I'm not comparing rape to incest I'm not saying rape is the same as incest because rape is a lot worse but I think you know in a way maybe it's just me maybe I'm just being crazy but in a way I think rape is a little bit more what should I call it like accepted in today's society than in sexual relationships and I just think that's an example of that. Besides that whole love aspect of the story I really enjoyed reading about the family dynamic. I think that was really nicely written and the characters in general were written in a very realistic fashion um, but the family dynamic I loved because if the family relationship you know between the siblings is a lot different in the beginning of the book than it is in the last. So you can really see that relationship um, progressing throughout the story. The characters were all written in a way that is very believable. Lockin, which is the 17 year old, he has social anxiety, he is very anxious, he can't really talk to people, and the way that that is described I think is very believable because I myself, I'm not as bad as him but sometimes I do get anxious in social settings and I could totally relate to some of the things that he was going through. Maya, she seemed just like a regular, you know, girl teenager. Um, the other y three younger siblings, you know, we have a five-year-old who is 
you know, a five-year-old. She's a regular old five-year-old. We have an eight-year-old who just wants to play soccer with his friends. He just wants to hang out with his friends. And we have a bratty little 13-year-old. And, you know, who isn't a little bit bratty when they're 13? The mom, I absolutely hated because she's an alcoholic mother and she just really doesn't care for her kids. And even though this is a work of fiction, there are mothers out there. And I just, it makes me so angry like how are there some mothers out there that don't care for their own flesh and blood that is crazy if you're looking for a dark contemporary that might make you cry I totally recommend picking this book up even if you think the beginning is boring you'll totally want to stick around until the end because you know how does a book about incest wrap up and the ending was really nicely wrapped up it was a good story in general. Besides it being about a forbidden romance, it's also about uh, family relationships and a family dynamic. And it, I just feel like this book really sheds a different light on such a taboo topic. So yes, that is it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, feel free to like this video and subscribe to my channel. So yeah, <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you later. Bye!